guys, it's Jay and welcome to part 67 of Let's Play The Sims 2 Legacy Challenge. Now last time we left off, um, we just added a few rooms to the house and extended one room and stuff, just the basic stuff. Um, we didn't do that much, um, it was quite a short part, I'm sorry for that. Um, yeah, and yesterday I did not upload Sims 4 Get Together, I uploaded a read description video um, and I told you guys why I haven't up I'm not gonna I'm no longer gonna be uploading Sims 4 get together and I asked you guys what should I do should I do a Sims 4 get together plus um, get to work let's play or just wait till um, the next expansion pack comes out or just do a random Sims 4 let's play or something or any let's play that you guys want basically that's what I asked I I wanted your guys opinions and I don't know if how many of you have commented on that yet because I haven't uploaded the video yet as I'm recording this but I hope some of you have because I want to get feedback from you guys I want to know what you want because the Sims 4 get together was getting kind of boring and repetitive and I didn't know what to do and it was a oh stress um so yeah as you can see I got the magical bat box um apparently it's good with the debugging and stuff um and apparently someone thinks that um, Jade's sunburn is permanent and it can be fixed with the bat box. So them, which is Joe, they told me to get the bat box. Um, and yeah, I don't know if it's like nuke. Um, I don't know if it's like, um, I don't know. Ooh, force errors. I don't know, make me astrology, no I'm not going to do that, want, no, fix, okay, tans and burns, that's what we want, okay, it's lagging, so is that like a good thing, I really hope that that's a good thing, I hope it's not going <gasps> to, we did it, guys, guys, we did it, the bat box helps, like heck. Um, I think we will need to make a room for these sorts of debugging boxes and stuff and pose boxes and stuff like that because I am planning on getting pose boxes in the future for doing Instagram photos and I know I haven't uploaded to my Instagram in a while just because I haven't been bothered to and I've been busy and stuff so it's not my main priority okay um, I think a Twitter account would be much more essential to my channel just saying um, and I don't know if I'm going to like do an Instagram account for my um, Sims channel anymore. I think it would just be for my main channel, which I will be uploading videos to hopefully this weekend. I always say that and I never do, but I hopefully will this weekend. Um, yeah, because I don't really see the point in doing it for a Sims channel or a gaming channel because I don't see really any other YouTubers do that. So just my opinion. It's just my two cents. For now, I'm just going to put the pose boxes and bat boxes and stuff like that here. Um, and I am planning to play with, around with that in the future. Not too much because I don't want to... Actually, not here. Um, somewhere where it's not going to snow. I am planning to play with it in the future, but not too much because I don't want to like get like um, a corrupt game. But it does help fix a lot of bugs. Oh, I don't know where to put it at all. I actually don't know where to put it. I'll just put it here for now. I know it's not the like most cutest decoration, but you know, it's better than before. Um, wow. This is crazy. Upgrade sim. What's this pre-uni? Um, I don't know what this is. I'm not planning to play it. I don't want to play around with it too much because I don't want to, um, hurt anyone. But it's pretty cool. I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of this is, most of it. Um, and I don't really want to play it. As I said, I don't really want to, like, um, you know, like, touch it too much. Because I don't want to, like, ruin the game, if you know what I mean. Um, if you guys can give me, like, a guide sort of thing on it then please do because I do know it can fix sunburns that are stuck which is good now Jade no longer has that ugly red skin and she looks fine now which is amazing and good uh, so yeah I'm hoping she will give birth soon um, actually it was just tonight when she 
um, got into her third trimester and I'm hoping um, that next part or this part she will be giving birth to a healthy baby boy or girl or whatever you know what I mean um, I think she should work out I guess it's good to get exercise I guess I don't know and he's still sleeping I think he's probably gonna sleep until the morning you know what I mean I guess I'll see you guys in the like about 6 a.m. yeah I'll see you then okay guys so it's about 6 p.m. Um, 6 a.m. in the morning for them so um, I, they both have a day off today so I think I might get them to go out shopping I don't know if Jade is quote-unquote too pregnant because sometimes your sim can be too pregnant to go out and since she is in her third trimester which does last for a day I think it would be safe to say that she is too pregnant to be going out or anything like that um, but she could socialize with Sean but let's just let her have another bowl of cereal um, oh it looks like he's about to put it in the fridge um, then get leftovers I don't want her to go on the hunger energy loop so I need her to have a leftover bowl of cereal nap and then maybe socialize to Sean um, or something like that I think that would be a good choice and yeah I can't wait for her to give birth to her child I oh, I wonder if it's gonna be a boy or a girl I have no idea no damn idea but I hope it's gonna be a good child I don't know like what color eyes do they have both do they both have green eyes do they oh that's a bit awkward zooming into his eyes while he's on the toilet um it probably show up here he's got green eyes as well so the baby would probably have quite similar features um since um jade and sean i mean zoe and sean do both have very similar skin tones so i think it would be safe to say that um, the baby would look very similar to them like because they both do already look very similar in my opinion um, actually Sean's like nose is a bit more bigger and stuff and his lips are a bit more smaller and stuff like that and his eyebrows are different oh and the hair color the hair color how could I forget that so it could be kind of a mix but they do have the same eye color and skin tone so yeah what can Sean do? Hmm. I guess we'll just get him to play EA Sports FIFA 08. Because she needs to go have a nap after her little bowl of cereal. Um, I'll just get her to nap in the bedroom. That would be the best place because it's the most private place of the house. Um, the butler would probably come in here to make the bed, but he probably won't make that much noise. So that's fine. Um, it won't be too disturbing, which is good. Um, yeah, actually, I think we're going to like delete the furniture in this room since it's probably just going to end up being a kid's room. And well, a kid could probably have a double bed, but like I'm probably going to put a crib in here. Actually, this. Yeah, yeah, that's a better choice. I'm just gonna put everything here because this is the firstborn child and they can deserve a big room okay this can just be the spare room over here and this firstborn child can have this room and we're going to be putting actually first I just want to save money by um, deleting these walls it, it actually does save money like you get money back from the walls you already had there so it's a nice little hack to have in your sims games it's not you know how people say life hack and stuff like that that sort of stuff you know what I mean and the baby does get their own bathroom I think I might redesign it for the child um, I don't know I don't know what theme we'll go with um, and I'm not gonna do this in fast forward I want to do this one with you guys I don't know why um, I don't know uh, we'll go with like a childish sort of color scheme I like uh, no it's not childish enough I don't know oh, I like that one actually yeah we'll go with that um, I like the pink one it's like nice and bright and childish and stuff like that um, not saying pink is a childish color like bright like um you know appealing for a child I guess 
Um, I don't think we'll have a pink floor as well. I think we'll have we'll have a neon color. We'll do neon theme bathroom. Um, that's perfect. Okay, good. Now let's delete all the furniture in here besides that shower over there. Actually, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that shower. And I really want to delete this plant thing because that's probably not um, going to be here in the child's room. And I might like, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how we go with this. Just redesigning the whole thing, which is absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I think we will keep this. Um, that was a big waste of money, but okay. I know this sink is quite neon. Um, we'll go over to green because we haven't had green yet in here. And we don't really need a neon toilet. I don't, I don't mean like this, I guess. Or like <laughs> the pink one. I don't know. Um, this is really weird. I think we'll go with this blue one here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think this bathroom is fine. Um... You know what? I've got a better idea. We're going to put a bath here for now because they're going to be a toddler. Because, like, they need, like, to have a bath as a toddler. I don't know what colour, though. I'm sorry for taking forever to choose a freaking bath. Let's just do that um, quickly. And we will just do this for when... Oh, no, the green one. Yeah. For when they're a baby and they need a bath. Okay, so that's the baby bath and that's the toddler bath. Okay, so this is basically a bathing room. Um, yeah, that's... It's good. We've made progress. We have made progress with the room and stuff. So that's good. Um, yeah. Okay, so Jade, you're finishing up your cereal and then you can go have a nap. And he is playing a video game... Okay, and life is good for them. Is the butler here yet? I don't know if the... Yep, the butler's here, so he's going to be cleaning up our house for us, which is great. I love that. Okay, I think we'll just put this on speed three. I really want Jade to be able to give birth before this part finishes, so I kind of want to speed through this day, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I don't know how risky that's going to be, but yeah... Hopefully it's not going to be too risky because I really want to. I really want Jade to give birth in this part. I really do want it to happen. Um, yeah. Okay, so he's going to go have a shower. What about? Okay, Jade still needs much more energy. Um, yeah, I really like how I went with this like little room, and I redesigned the whole this whole room for the child because like um you know it's it fits I'll, I'll i'll redesign it as they age though so yeah as i've said a million times before and i don't think i need to repeat myself that much and yeah um i think we might go out with sean you know what? No. We'll stay home because I want to have the baby as soon as possible. And if it's not in this part, it's going to be pretty sad. Um, yeah. I'm just going to get him to watch TV while we're waiting for Zoe's needs to go up. Because I really want her energy to go up. Like, I really want it to go up. And her aspiration isn't high enough to use that aspiration reward that puts your needs up. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I hope you do. Ah, oh, seriously. Her energy is barely going up. Oh my gosh. It's not even funny. Um, okay. You can use the toilet. And you can have a chat with Sean. We'll see how this goes. I really don't know. I don't want to use cheats because we actually can't use cheats because it's the freaking legacy challenge. Um, yeah. If this is a normal let's play, I might have used cheats. I don't really like using cheats or anything because, like, it's just, um, it doesn't really, like, 
go well with my gameplay, like it kind of ruins the experience. Um, yeah, so you have a chat with Sean. Have a chat. And then have a joke. Um, and then I think you can get leftovers. Um, hopefully her social will go up really quickly. Um, yeah, this is really stressful. I'm sorry, even even if you're super prepared with pregnant sims, sometimes it just gets out of hand and they just blur. Like, you know, they just col their needs, their, wa their motives just collapse everywhere and they just go all over the place. It happens with pregnant sims. It just happens. It's annoying, but it happens. So yeah, that's that's the shame of it. It's the shame. And it's actually really annoying as well. And I hate it when that happens. So yeah. Okay, um, what was I going to do? Uh, okay. How's the social going? Okay, it's okay. Um, Mm. It's really annoying with her hunger motive. I really, I'm really annoyed right now. She's in the loop. She's in the freaking loop. She is in the loop, and her aspiration is so low. I am in hell right now when it comes to Sims. Like the hunger energy loop is literally hell, and I've tried to avoid it so much, and it just happens. I guess the more you experience um, with pregnant sims and you're prepared for it, because this is like the first time I've, I'm actually like, I've come prepared, I guess the more, like, the less you get the hunger energy loop, you know what I mean? Because, oh my gosh, it's really bad right now, I hope, I hope her hunger will go up, I really do, because I don't want her to fall asleep on her spaghetti, yeah, oh I really God, don't want that to happen, if it happens, I swear, I don't even know what I'll do, oh my gosh. Okay, and then she can sleep in pajamas. Like, look, it's going down like crazy. Here we go again. Here we freaking go again. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end this episode here. I know we're ending on such a bad note, but um, hopefully next part we will fix this. And hopefully she will give birth because I really want her to give birth because I really want her to have that baby already. Um, I don't know why our parts have been going so slow and stuff. Sorry. Sorry for knocking that. Um, I don't know. I need to make them faster because I've been just going too in depth. Haven't been doing. I haven't been speeding up that much, and oh, I just really need to get through it because I've been. I've been just having in my mind. I have to go in depth, but then I just get overboard with that, and it just gets annoying. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next part. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, comment down below. And if you want more videos from me, then subscribe. Until then, guys, see you soon. Bye, guys.